Alright, hello people, the world beyond. This is Pixel Art Pixel, and welcome to Game Dev Tycoon. Now, this game is a game where you make other games, which I think is pretty Inception ish. -ish. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if it's Inception ish. Eh, whatever. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed Haunted Memories yesterday. It is pretty creepy. Uh, I might do one of those, I might play that again on this Saturday. I know I don't have many subscribers, or basically any, but if you could, just try to leave a like down in the, the comments. Sorry, not a like. Leave a comment down in the description if you want that again. But nonetheless, five days of Game Dev Tycoon, and the next week following back with SimCity. I'm going to hopefully do so about three weeks of SimCity, or two, however many you guys want me to. And then I'm going to finish Game Dev Tycoon. Alright? Let's go. Welcome to Game Dev Tycoon. In this business simulation, you have been transported back in time to start your very own game development company right at the beginning of the PC revolution. In the next 35 years, you can build your dream company, create the best-selling games, gain fans, and become the leader of the market. Before you can start your venture, you have to give your upcoming p company a name. Alright, so we're going to call this... Pixel... Aided, uh, gems. Cause why not? Uh, the player name is going to be called. Uh, God. How, how about we make it a girl? Why not? Suzanne. Su Susan. Uh, feather. No. Uh, hazard. How about Susan Armstrong? I don't know. I don't know what to name her. Uh, so I'm just going to name her Susan. Just. Justina. Okay. Uh, and then, of course, there's got to be one last name with just a Q. Susan Justina Q. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll keep that Q. Whatever. Here. Apparently, they don't like redheads, so that's fine. Oh, God. Red shirt, at least. Gotta be comfortable when you're making games. If you ever want to review the tutorial messages, then you can do so in the help menu to access the help menu and other features such as saving, loading, cre and creating a game. You simply press escape to access the main menu. Congratulations, you've just started your very own game development company. At the moment, your office is in a garage and you're the only employee. But don't worry, many successful businesses have started out with that uh, this way. That is actually very true. Let's start developing your first game. Close this message and click anywhere on the screen to bring up the action menu. Supporters, support a young startup by the game. Thank you. Develop a new game. Before development can... Begin, you have to decide what kind of game you want to create and give your game a name. You can also select which graphic technology your game should use. Your options are initially limited, but once you have a bit of experience, you will be able to unlock new options. Uh, what's our first game? Well, let's pick out the genre and the topic. Alright, so we have Vampire, Law, Detective, and Dance. I don't want to do a dance game first. I want to do a detective game first. A detective strategy game. On definitely on the PC because we're gonna we're gonna be stuck with this. Uh, we are going to call this game uh, Sherlock Gnomes. Uh, Sherlock Gnomes, of course, he has to solve a mystery because somebody bludgeons somebody to death with a gnome. Uh, let, let's start out with the bang and go for 2D graphics version one. Uh, let's go. Game development runs through three stages. At the beginning of each stage, you can decide what areas of the game you want to focus on. Picking the right focus for your game greatly increases the points you generate. Think about what areas are important for your game and focus on the areas you think are less important. If you want to read a brief description of the different areas, please refer to the help menu. Okay, I, I can't, I don't really know this, but it's a detective game. And a strategy game, but it mostly just applies for the strategy. So, 
how about we go with gameplay a bit up, like up up there. Story has to be rich, so gameplay should be no story should be top. It should be a bit lower. We we don't need much engine. How's that? Game development has now started. While developing your game, you will generate game points, which you can see bubbling up. Game points are divided into design points and technology points. The more points you generate, the better the game will be. From time to time, there will also be bug points generated. These points become less likely once you gain experience. Bugs should be fixed before the game is released and increase development time and costs. Alright, let's do this. Strategy. Uh, more depends on AI or level design. I don't know. I'm gonna go with AI up there, like way up there. Level design a bit lower and dialogues a bit down there. Alright, let's go. Alright. Tutorial. During development, you can also select an additional features for your game. Right now, you can only pick basic sounds, but your option will increase quickly. Selecting additional features makes the game generally better, but also increases its cost. You will see the graphic type you selected when you define the game. This is just to remind you of your choice. Mind, you cannot change the type of graphics mid-game. Alright, well, we have only two things right now, so that won't more help. Uh, world design, graphics, or sound? Uh... I'm gonna go with sound a bit lower, actually. Graphics, definite. Is that gonna be world design or strategy game? Let me think. Let me think of back at strategy games. I'm more thinking about escape games, like random escape games. But there is a lot of world design in it. So we're gonna go up on world design and lower on graphics. Alright, and we have two bugs which can easily be fixed. The development of your first game is now complete. You can press finish button at... Yep. Calm down, me. You can press the finish button to publish your game, but you should only do that once you fix the majority of your bugs. Releasing a game without fixing bugs can severely affect your rating, so you should only ever consider that if you need the cast, you can't, and you can't afford to wait. I can afford to wait. Go. Six design points, seven technology points. The development of your game is now finished. While developing games, you gain experience and improve your skills. When development is completed, you will be presented with the summary of the experience gained. New topic, new combo. Here, we'll go fast here. Alright. Uh, apparently, everything's going up. The thing that went up the most was world design. Sorry, no. The story and quests. Uh, Susan Justina Q uh, gained quite a bit of stuff. 99, actually, which is near 100. So, let's go. Your game is now complete and will be handed off to publishing. We should see reviews and sales coming in for the game soon. Let's generate up a game report on Sherlock Gnomes. The first reviews for a newly, re newly released game, Sherlock Gnomes, came in. What did we get? Horrible? A <laughs> three! <laughs> uninspiring, yay! Utterly uninspiring, and meh. Whatever. After publishing a game, you can invest a little bit of time to analyze your creation and generate a game report. Game reports are a great way to gain research points as well as valuable insight to, into what works and what doesn't work when developing a game. To generate a game report, close this message and click anywhere on the screen to bring up the action menu. Don't worry, I'm already generating one. Pixelated Gems, a newcomer in the game industry, has just released their first game, Sherlock Gnomes. The game had moderate response from reviewers. We are curious to see what Pixelated Gems will deliver in the future. Holy crap, we sold 1,000 units. Frick. Sherlock Gnomes sold 1,096 units in its first week on the market. Now that your game is on sale, you will receive income from the game every week. You can see how well your game is doing by looking at sales graph on the top right of your screen. Right here, guys. Alright, game report. Our post analysis 
Our post-release analysis of Sherlock Gnomes is complete. We got the following results. Detective and strategy is a terrible combination? What? Maybe it's detective and simulation. Uh, dialogues seems to be not very important for this type of game. Good, because I didn't use any dialogues. And platform genre match strategy and PC is great. So it's just a combination, mostly. It's fine. Game reports are a great way to earn to gain more research points. Uh, yeah, I, I know about game game reports. All right, start up a new game. Should we research something? Research is important to unlock new options and better games. You should try to save enough research points to be able to create your own game engine. This will greatly improve your games. Hey, try to develop games with with different topic and genre combinations for a slight research boost. All right. Uh, we do not need a custom game engine and we cannot afford it. So, what should we do? Medieval, ninja, martial arts, or prison? Ninja and martial arts are almost exactly alike. Uh, prison would be kind of cool. Medieval, though, I love that. We're researching medieval. Go, Susan. What? What's your name? I can't remember her name. Uh, there. Oh. You have successfully researched a new topic, medieval. Good. Let's develop a new game for it then. So, we're gonna go medieval. A medieval simulation. Medieval action. Yes. And it's oh, we have to pick. We have to pick the platform. On the PC. Duh. G64 is gonna flunk out. Isn't it? I bet it is. Uh, so the game, I guess we could call it um, flying, flying turnips. Uh, I'm I'm pretty sure that medieval people back in medieval time used to love turnips, and they would use it for anything that they ever had. So flying turnips was a simulation symbolism of flying a turnip out of a catapult or out of a cannon or anything during war. So we're going to do 2D graphics version one. Well, actually, let's go back to text-based because that cost us quite... Sherlock Gnomes costed us quite a bit of money and we actually lost money from it. So, oh, frick. Gameplay should be definitely up in an action game. Story and quests, not really. Engine, up there. I know, semi, about action games. So this game won't suck entirely. This game is so, so slow. Alright. Uh, dialogues are not important at all for an action game. Level design is though, and AI is definitely very important. But we'll put that lower because level design, you want to make an action game look nice. Sherlock Gnomes is now off the market. It sold 4,007 units, generating 28,084 in sales. Perfect. AI hey is done. Alright, action. Graphics definitely up there. World design. A bit down there because sound is very important in an action game. World design, we can leave be. Level design was supposed to go up because in an action game you have to have platforms and have to know where stuff goes. So we're going to finish this. Uh, we have more design and technology points than ever. New topic, new combo. Alright, our most generated one this time was graphics. At, oh, it's Susan Justina. Susan Justina Q gained a little bit less than last time. Uh, she only gained 92. She, she is slowly climbing up the food chain. Good judgment created a game with a good topic slash genre combination. Good, good, good. We actually did something great. Alright, generate up a game report for Flying Turnips. The first reviews for a newly released game, Flying Turnips, came in. Got horrible again, didn't we? Not bad, not good. So it's in the middle there. Quirky but good. Falls a bit short. Okay, I'll take it. I will definitely take that. Better than, um, gnomes. 
What is it? Whatever. Recent market studies suggest that the God Gavaldor G64 is steadily outselling competitors in the C PC con sector. Consumers prefer the lower price, greater availability, and flexible hardware configuration over other home computers. Experts say that this might spell the ending spell the end of competing hardware manufacturers. Hmm. Maybe I was wrong. Alright, we sold over 2,000. Flying turnips was so successful that we now have seven fans. Uh, okay. Our post-release analysis of flying turnips is complete. We have the following results. Medieval in action is a great combination. Dialogue seems not to be important for this type of game. Okay, well, that's already what we knew. Holy crap! We are just skyrocketing. Research, uh, new topic. A fantasy game? Uh, or ninja. A ninja game? Should we make a ninja game? Or a prison game? Prison game would be kind of fun. A prison simulation. Yeah, going with this prison simulation. It's probably going to be very weird, of course, but it will be fine. Flying turnips is selling like wildfire over there. It's about to reach 10,000. Which it won't. It'll be like right on. It'll be like right before or at 9,000. No, it's a little bit above it. Oh, we're about to hit 10k.